Are you struggling trying to find out what you should have for breakfast and you're always so frustrated because you don't know what to eat and you're worried about what it might do to your blood sugar levels? This is one of the most common questions I'm asked in the office and my patients just don't know what to eat and they're always so frustrated. Today's video, I am gonna tell you which breakfast options to absolutely avoid and of course, make sure you guys are tuning in because I'm gonna talk about the best options that I recommend for my patients. Before we do that, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. And if you're enjoying my content, give this video a thumbs up, share this video, and tell me your thoughts down below. Let's start with the worst breakfast ideas. Number one, juices. I mean, I absolutely, absolutely discourage juices apple juice, orange juice, any of those juices, what happens when we're making juice is they actually strip away all the nutrients, all the fiber, everything good that comes from that particular fruit, like apple or an orange, and you're left with plain sugar. So now with continuous glucose monitors like Dexcom or Libre, we can actually see the spike, significant spike in blood sugar levels after people drink juice definitely do not recommend juice at all number two is your pancakes waffles french toast and then to make matters worse we add honey or syrup and this will definitely spike up your blood sugars instantly i highly do not recommend that as a nutritious breakfast number three is going to be your butter toast again all you're getting is very high fat that is not healthy for us and then the toast is your carbohydrates so you're going to see a spike in your blood sugar levels and number four cereal absolutely do not like cereal cereals are saturated with very high sugar content not too much fiber and not too much protein we know that there are some good cereals on the market but they're very difficult to find and at the local grocery stores i went shopping for hours trying to find a good cereal and it was very hard to do because a lot of them had so much carbs and then of course we had the milk and that's even more carbs so we have to be very careful there number five is flavored yogurts now i do not like flavored yogurts as well you're definitely not getting all the nutrients that you need from flavored yogurt it's very high in carbohydrates and will cause an elevation in blood sugar levels i'm also not a fan of breakfast bars many of them are very high in carbohydrates as well and they actually don't make you feel too full so we have to be very careful with the breakfast bars that we're choosing because not all of them are the same and many of them are actually not even nutritious and they have a lot of sugar which will cause a spike in blood sugar levels smoothies i'm also not a fan of smoothies and one of you guys commented on my video in the past and said you know i was told not to drink my fruit but eat my fruit i love that quote so i'm definitely stealing it because i do agree with that it's so much easier to over consume and it's so much easier to drink our calories than it is to eat them so when people are making smoothies they'll throw in a banana an orange maybe grapes or whatever else they may be adding not realizing that that will be over 100 plus grams of sugar to start off your day and the chances are you might not feel very full right after it for that reason smoothies are very tricky and i tend to discourage my patients from having smoothies in the morning because of course there are better options which i'm going to discuss in a minute bagels i mean needless to say bagels are all starches very high carbohydrates so they're going to spike up your blood sugars very significantly and unfortunately they don't make you feel too full so we're very likely to crash right after a bagel and need to eat again and again and the kind of the cycle kind of just goes on so i do not recommend bagels another popular one that i absolutely do not recommend is the flavored coffees like starbucks or duncan coffees i mean if you look at the nutrition labels on these coffees the lattes they go from anywhere from 30 to like 70 grams of carbohydrates and there's absolutely no nutrition there we have to be very careful with the coffee choices that we're making because most of them unfortunately are all sugar and then of course the last bad one is donuts which i probably don't need to say but donuts are a terrible way to start your day and we should rarely eat donuts they should not be part of our regular diet they should just be part of maybe a celebration once in a while enough about the things that you can eat i know you want to hear about the things that you can eat and so do i number one plain greek yogurt and adding your own fruit like berries or strawberries to it very nutritious packed with protein high in fiber very healthy for you and you're likely not going to see a significant spike in your blood sugar levels but better yet it's going to keep you fuller for a longer period of time 
not to mention all the probiotics that you're getting for your gut health. Two, eggs. I mean, I love eggs. I don't know too many people that don't love eggs, but eggs are a very good option. They're very versatile. And boil them, fry them. You can do whatever you want. They're very quick to make and you can just grab them on the go. A very high source of protein. They tend to keep us very full. And of course, they don't spike up our blood sugar level. So why not? Another, another great option is overnight chia seed pudding. I mean, so nutritious, so many health benefits, very high in fiber, high in protein, lar low in carbs. It doesn't get better than that, right? And you are not going to see such a spike in your blood sugar levels. And of course, you're going to feel fuller for a long period of time. So after having that as a nutritious breakfast, I think you'll be all right making it all the way to lunch without feeling like you're starving. Another one is oatmeal. We know that oatmeal is controversial, but the ones that I do recommend are the steel cut or rolled oats. Those are actually a much better option, higher in protein, high in fiber, lower in carb content, and to make it even for a better option where you won't see such a spike in your blood sugar levels, I normally recommend adding a little bit more protein to it. You can throw in some peanut butter or something that you enjoy. Fun fact about oats is they contain a specific fiber called beta-glucan that actually makes them a very good option for making us feel more full and controlling our blood sugar levels throughout the day. So multi-grain avocado toast is also great because avocados are loaded with monounsaturated fats, which are healthy fats for us. So that makes it for a very filling breakfast that will carry you through lunch. Another option is cottage cheese fruit or nut bowl. This is also very high in fiber. It's high in protein. It keeps, keeps us full. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So comment below and let me know your thoughts.